Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. This time around, I'm gonna do something a little different. Some of you ask me, what is my setup uh, to shoot video and what not? Coming to mind, Paul, which uh, sent me a few messages uh, last week. Uh, so here it is. I promised Paul I would make a video because in a message is way too long to explain, but now for the chit chat, let's get on it. First of all, what gives me the right to tell you guys how to do this? Well, I'm not the best of YouTubers, but I probably single-handedly make every single mistake that there is to make. My video for the Triumph Tiger 800 XCX, my audio was horrendous. The Triumph Tiger 800 XCA. When it comes to poor video quality, when I did the BMW electric uh, scooter, my video was horrible uh, because I screwed up uh, the, the light setting on the camera. Hey guys, I'll be here. When BMW Motorcycles or Riverside ask me if I want to take their electric maxi scooter, bad angles, uh, bad story, uh, bad review, Mistakes are gonna be made, just live with it and keep tracking and eventually you'll start figuring stuff out. I still haven't figured everything out. As a matter of fact, the lighting that I've been trying to work on forever, it's, it, it, it's never the way I want it. Keep working on it, keep going and eventually something good will come out of it. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter because if people like what you're doing, they're gonna watch it no matter what. What I found out is that the most important thing for videos, it's actually audio. <laughs> Amazingly enough, uh, if the video is so-so, people don't care that much, but uh, they do care if the audio is annoying. So what do I use for my audio? I came down to appreciate the Zoom H1N with a lavalier mic. So what that means is that usually, I'm not using it right now obviously because I need to show you <laughs> to you, but usually I have this little thing with the lavalier mic in my back pocket. Now when you use an audio source that is different from your video source, you need to remember to do this. And you'll tag me later because thanks to those little claps you can actually align on your editor the, the video and the audio. When it comes to lavalier mics I tried anything. Most of them uh, I bought on Amazon. This one is Power Device. I also tried Purple Panda and uh, also tried some of those generic uh, uh, cheapy Lavalier mics, uh, needless to say, the cheapy ones, they don't sound quite good enough. So the lavalier mic is good on crowded areas, areas with a lot of noise where the lavalier only picks up what is nearby. You have two front disc brakes that are... Uh, when I work in my garage, I usually use uh, a shotgun mic, which is on the camera right now, because the garage is fairly quiet other than I live by an airport, so every once in a while there is a whole bunch of airplanes coming in and out. But the shot shotgun mic uh, allows me to move around and get my hands dirty on motorcycles without having this thing hanging and wires and, and so on. Once you have the audio situated, it's now time to get a camera. Now, if you're starting, you can get by with a GoPro, especially the new ones. This one is a 7, um, the 8 is even better than the 7. But for example, my video that I shot in Italy with the Multistrada was 99.9% .9 made, if not 100%, I can't quite remember, with uh, the GoPro. Just because the co these new GoPros are so easy that you just set it up on linear mode and let the camera do what it does. Now, I'm not a photographer, I'm not a videographer, 
So I don't know all those color grading, uh, all, all those other things that many guys out there talk about. And I found out that the GoPro gets a pretty good image uh, without me having to waste so much time color grading on trying to find the right you uh, for, for the images. Get used to the fact that if you want to have your own YouTube channel, you will be editing a lot. The time that you're not shooting, you will be editing. First of all, you need to find out what kind of motorcycle YouTube channel you want to be. If you want to be a vlog channel, you can probably get by with a couple of cameras. A session, which is pretty good because it's so small and so not intrusive, and a GoPro, or for example, when I vlog, I use the Garmin uh, Verb camera. The reason I'm using the Garmin camera rather than the GoPro is because this camera Bluetooths to my Sina on my helmet. The image is not terrific, but the convenience, uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. So uh, I use this even if the main image is not coming from this camera, because maybe I have a GoPro here and there, uh, the audio on my vlogs is definitely coming from, uh, from this. Again, on the S1000XR, if you have a, a setup where you're doing something to your motorcycle, you might want to invest on either a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Uh, because the DSLR or the mirrorless camera give you the option of changing lenses. For example, this is a, a wide angle lens and this wide angle lens allows me to be really, really close with the camera and capture a lot of real estate. On the other end, the lens that is on the camera right now is what I use to do those zoom to show which bolt goes where in most of my videos. If you want to do some setup like this, where you're talking uh, to the audience in a garage or something, you're gonna need uh, a tripod. Obviously, I have the tripod I'm using on the camera right now, which is my primary pr tripod. This is an old tripod from the 90s or something, which is still useful because sometimes I have the DSLR on, uh, on a one tripod, I have the Go GoPro on another tripod, and for convenience sake, tripods come in all sorts of shapes and size, and you're gonna find a use for most of them uh, most times, especially this uh, Joby, Joby, whatever, monkey arm, octopus looking thing this thing is. This thing is very convenient. Uh, after a while, the, the arms get a little loose, so you set it up in a position, especially if you have a, a DSLR camera, and this thing eventually is gonna start tilting and falling over. So that's why for most, uh, for a more solid base, I got this mini, tripod uh, over there and once you have uh, everything situated the only thing is just to start yapping on camera and start editing when it comes to the editing i use the adobe premiere express i use the express rather than the big brother because the express is a one-time purchase i don't like to get a monthly subscription for software uh, software, I understand that with a monthly subscription you're always up to date, uh, but remember the good old times where you bought a software and you kept getting updates for free because you bought the software, so anything new that came out, they would update it. You bought their software. It's not the case anymore. Nowadays, if you want a, a premier, a premium editing program, you gotta pay a subscription. I don't care because uh, when it comes to motorcycle it's better to have good content with the right motorcycles and talk and the right topics to talk about rather than have fancy editing software and uh, and and get all crazy transitions and stuff as a matter of fact if you have a mac imovie will do just fine at the beginning, I, I was using uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker, 
and the only reason I stopped is because for whatever reason the, the program stopped working for me and I would have to find a solution and I didn't want to I didn't want to waste extra time doing that so in the end I ended up buying this Adobe Premiere Express and it's been working for me quite well find a software and stick with it the faster you are able to edit the better the more time you have to actually go out and create content you're gonna go on YouTube and search how to YouTube and everybody's gonna have their own ideas. They'll suggest and recommend all sorts of stuff. As much as everybody say about, oh, get yourself ND filters, get yourself uh, uh, little spongy, muffy things. The very important thing you need to get yourself, especially if you shoot a lot, is uh, extra batteries. Extra batteries and a good memory card will do the trick. All those other crap that I actually bought myself, uh, I could have spared myself uh, uh, the, the cost and live without it. One thing that came handy, especially for traveling around, is a good photographer backpack. Because everywhere you go, if you want to film, you're going to have to bring a whole bunch of things because you never know what, what's what. But a photographer backpack has a slide in the back for your laptop, which you're going to need because you're going to need to edit. And as compartments, because you don't want to scratch uh, their lenses and so on. So this came out to be fairly useful for me especially on those trips uh, uh, overseas that I made so in conclusion what it really takes is willingness to do it get yourself a GoPro or a Garmin camera or uh, whatever other camera you wanna get get yourself a good microphone which is really really important to have a good microphone because good sound is where it's at and uh, start from there start uploading start making videos start getting out there and if uh, and if people will like what you're doing they're gonna keep coming back and uh, little by little you're gonna have uh, a good following and maybe make your hobby uh, your your main job if you want to have millions and millions of sus subscribers and live uh, uh, a crazy lifestyle like uh, some of those Logan Paul guys uh, you are gonna have to not do motorcycles <laughs> it seems like you need to be over the top and uh, if you have a normal life if you care about what your friends and family thinks of you if you care about uh, your current job you cannot be over the top but if you want to enjoy making videos and sharing your experience with uh, other people motorcycles are a great way of doing it there are a few examples out there Z Custom Garage an Italian YouTuber and friend that I speak with from time to time as a, as a small channel it, it does garage stuff like I do it's all in Italian but it, it's really good there is another friend of mine, uh, Jeremy Averett. Uh, uh, for anything I'm saying, the links are in the description. Uh, he has an Art 1200 GS and he goes around, has great adventures and so on. Pierre's ADV and there are a ton of those little YouTubers here and there that do it for the fun of it, do it because they want to share their experience. And in my opinion, that is the way it should be. Now, if you're able to make some money out of it, even better. And speaking about money, for anything I showed in this video, I'm gonna to try to put links in the description down below. There is always a permanent link that says my gears uh, or my gear, and that is gonna have most of the things I use uh, uh, usually. Now, if this video was a help to you and you like it, subscribe, like and comment. I want to know if you're thinking of starting your own YouTube channel. As always, support the channel because it's the only way I can keep buying 
all this stuff that uh, I might or might not need one day, you never know. Other than that, ride on and I'll see you next time. Which is a Canon uh, T7i. Uh, with uh, where you can change the lenses, it's Rode microphone on top, and then I have a few lights because somehow lights seem never to be enough, <laughs> especially in the garage.